Hi, today we are talking about the 2024 Crosstrek Wilderness just announced at the New York Auto Show. I don't usually cover news related items on this channel, but this is big news. So I figured I would put together basically a bullet point list for you. So that way you know everything you need to know about the Crosstrek Wilderness. Let's get into it. Okay, so diving right in, let's just talk about the engine. The engine they put in this car is the 2.5 liter boxer engine. We've seen it in the limited trim level and the sport trim level, and now it's in the wilderness. So that means you're gonna get 182 horsepower and 176 pound-feet of torque. Okay, moving right along, let's just jump into the transmission. I'm actually gonna take out my little note sheet here. We have a revised CVT transmission and they've changed the gear ratio to be a 4.11 final drive ratio. And they've also added an oil cooler for the transmission, which means you can now tow up to 3,500 pounds. That's a little much considering that's kind of close to the weight of the car, but you can do it. Now, moving along to the next big number is ground clearance. It is 9.3 inches of ground clearance that you're gonna get on this car. That's half an inch of increase over the standard cross trek. And they achieved this by doing two things. They have longer coilover springs and off-road tuned shocks. So pretty good ground clearance, very respectable, I would say. And just like some of the other wilderness models that we've seen so far, you get a front skid plate. So moving right along, we're gonna jump into the wheels. These are 17 inch wheels. They are gonna be wrapped in Yokohama Geolander all-terrain tires. And they've actually changed the bolt pattern for this new model year. So we now have a five by 114.3 bolt pattern. Um, so if you're looking at getting aftermarket wheels, just keep that in mind. Um, the older cross treks, being like my cross trek, they're actually a 5x100 bolt pattern. So just one note to keep in mind. Let's talk about the roof rails really quick because Subaru have made some changes here. They've reinforced the roof rails on this car. So you can now hold 700 pounds on the roof um, or you can hold 176 pounds of dynamic load. And the intention here is for anyone that wants to mount a rooftop tent on this car, you can do so. Now let's talk about the looks of the Wilderness Edition. First and foremost, what you're going to notice is all of the black cladding. Love it or hate it, it is here and it's supposed to serve a function of not letting your paint get scratched up. Um, so there's that. Now the Wilderness Edition also gets some special features including fog lights, orange accents which highlight uh, recovery points, and they also have a hood decal which is black, supposedly reducing glare coming from the hood. Okay, now the last thing I want to talk about on the exterior of the car are the bumpers. Because with the bumpers and the added ground clearance, we get some new approach and departure angles, and they are as follows. We get 20 degrees of approach angle, which is two degrees more than the standard cross track. We get 33 degrees of departure angle, which is 2.9 degrees more than the standard cross track. And we get a 21.1 degree breakover angle, which is 1.4 degrees more than the standard cross track. Now, moving on to the interior, there are some things worth noting inside. We get some synthetic textured material seats with orange stitching, and we actually get orange accents throughout all of the interior. And you, of course, can get all weather floor mats. Now, moving on to the interior, you cannot miss the 11.6 inch touchscreen, which is now on the new Crosstrex. This has wireless charging also available, and you get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So, very nice to have in there. Now, the other thing worth noting is that Subaru's EyeSight system is present here on the Crosstrek Wilderness. It is their upgraded version, so it's a nice safety system to have in the car. Now, similar to other Wilderness editions, the Crosstrek also gets two different modes of X mode. You get snow and dirt, and you get deep snow and mud. You also get hill descent control, so all of these things should make it pretty capable. Okay, now the last thing that I have to say about the interior of this car is that there is no full-size spare for this car. You just get a space-saving donut. So that's it. There's only one more point that I need to tell you, and that's the price. The price starts at $31,995 for this car. It is expected to go on sale later this year, sometime in the fall. Now you have everything you need to know. Now, a couple things to address here. Will I be getting this car? Mm, no. See, I love my Crosstrek, and I still think there's plenty of life in it. I plan to make content around it, so if you're interested in any of that, subscribe and stick around. But I love that Subaru is pushing the envelope as far as how capable the Crosstrek is. I think it's pretty cool and I'm excited to see what people do with some of these new Wilderness Editions. But let me know what you guys think of the new Wilderness in the comments. I know this has been a highly anticipated car for the Crosstrek community. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching.